First, that exclusive interview with Usher's ex-wife, Tamika Raymond. ABC Chief Legal Affairs anchor Dan Abrams spoke with Tamika. He joins us now. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, George. She has dealt with the sort of adversity no mother should know. One child dead, and then two weeks ago, another narrowly survived drowning in a pool. Now Tamika Raymond is speaking out for the first time about her most recent scare and what she really wants from the legal battle that's heated up with her superstar ex. I don't know if there's a way for a blood pressure to peak higher <laughs> so quick. This morning, Tamika Raymond describes the heart-stopping moment she learned her five-year-old son had nearly drowned in her ex-husband's pool. I was mad because I was like, how did this happen? Who was watching him? Why was my son underwater for, you know, nearly three minutes? Raymond telling us it was her former husband, superstar Usher, who called to tell her about the accident. I was at a dent dental appointment and, you know, he doesn't call me regularly. So when I saw his number come up, I immediately jumped up because I, I figured he has the boys. I need to get this. For Raymond, it was a horrifying case of deja vu. Her 11-year-old son, Kyle, from a different marriage, died in a jet skiing crash just one year ago. Did you think to yourself, please? Yeah. No, not something like this again? Yeah. Yeah. It was like I relived it, like my brain just went into all those modes thinking. And I even said on the phone, I said, I've had this call before. Did you blame Usher for that? I didn't blame him for it. I just was angry that it happened on his watch. Because while accidents happen, never have my children been injured on my watch. Overnight, Usher posted this picture of his namesake out of the hospital and playing games, his arm in a bandage, but a big smile on his face. And his mother tells us the five-year-old will be going back to school today. But for his parents, the drama is far from over. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Just hours after Little Usher's near drowning, Tamika Raymond requested an emergency hearing, hoping to win temporary custody of her two young sons with the Grammy-winning singer. When the incident happened, my attorney filed an emergency motion so that when my son was released from the hospital, he wasn't going to have to go back to the house where the incident happened. Because based on our, our custody schedule, just like now, my son was released into his father's care again. I deem that an emergency. But a judge disagreed, allowing Usher to keep primary custody, despite his ex-wife's arguments that he's rarely home because of his schedule recording and performing. What do you want from this? I'd like to have my first right of refusal, which means that when he is not present, the kids come home to their mom. They don't stay home with the nanny and watch whatever show he's on, they come home to their mother. I had to see on Instagram that my four-year-old lost his first tooth. That's my baby. You know, things that are like precious moments, milestone moments, I'm just missing them. Now, as their custody battle rages on, Raymond tells us she's continuing to fight, both in a legal courtroom and in the court of public opinion. You took a psychological examination in connection yes. with this. And a psychological report in this case determined that you have a moderately severe mental disorder. I'm going to be retested. I mean, you would think from hearing that, that sounds like, wow, she must be cutting the kids or beating them excessively or on crack or selling crack. There, there's been this picture of you drawn mm -hmm. in the media, which is psychological disorder. Yeah, I'm crazy. Spit at the girlfriend, Violet. hit Usher, threatened him. Wow. I'm just bad. Hell on wheels. <laughs> um, it, you know, one thing I will say, you know, I'm an individual. I don't have a publicist. I don't have a manager. I don't have an agent. I've just got some regular working class friends and family members. We don't know how to fight the machine. Is it hurtful to you to read the things that are said about you? It, it is hurtful sometimes because it's so far from the truth. You're talking about a woman that had her own career and to be reduced to some baby mama <laughs> that's bitter and that's a gold digger is it, hurtful. Raymond says she tries to remain positive by immersing herself in Kyle's world, a foundation she started in memory of her late son. And despite everything, she tells us she's hopeful that she and her superstar ex will work things out for these two little boys. Do you think that he hates you right now? Nope. Do you hate him? Absolutely not. No. 
He is the father of my children, and I love my kids more than life itself. She says she spent every night in the hospital with her boy until he was released and had hoped he would come home with her. With the judge's ruling against her, that didn't happen. Another hearing is scheduled for the end of this month where Raymond will again ask that she get more time with their boys. Any chance of getting it? Um, look, anytime you're the one asking for custody to be revisited, you've got an uphill battle. And the judge denied the emergency motion. With that said, uh, if you take her at her word that what she really wants here is just the opportunity to take the kids when Usher's out of town. Um, that seems she, pretty fair. She, right. she's, got, she's got a stronger, I think, case there, although that is something that was previously um, rejected. And remember, there is a different legal standard for an emergency hearing than when you're looking more broadly at the custody And hearing. we also at that last hearing, that kind of a pretty remarkable moment where Usher comes up to her after the hearing, puts his arms around her, basically looks to be saying, hey, okay, can we work this out? Yeah, and she doesn't believe that was sincere, meaning she says that he acted very differently when the cameras are rolling and when the cameras were off. She says that he was gloating at one point, but then when the cameras are on and people are uh, watching, that suddenly he reaches out and she was very surprised that he was trying to hug. Wow, still some bad blood there. Okay, Danny, that was a really fascinating interview. Yeah. Thanks very Thanks much. So.